pretty hard. And obviously, we took some frustrations out from the first time around. Um, that's a good team. And, and I know the score doesn't indicate that. But um, I mean, we talked about Chris De La Rosa for days, and how good he is, and what a good coach Randy is. So that's a good team. We just we had a little bit of a chip on our shoulder today. There's no doubt about that. These guys did, did a great job. John, 8 of 10 from inside the arc today, 9 of 14 overall. Do you feel like you're becoming a little more comfortable taking the ball to the lane, especially today you guys seem to push the ball a lot whenever you have a chance? Um, I think I think it's just, you know, what we've been working on in practice, you know, just not, not relying so much on threes and finding other ways to score against the zone and against uh, different defenses. So... I think I, that's a result of the coaches that just maybe making a more more of an emphasis on not settling so much on threes after you take a couple in a row to try and try and score in other ways like get the ball inside or do other things. John, you really stepped up your game down the stretch run. Do you think it's all kind of coming together for you? And do you think that you're feeling any, you know, the the sense that this is your senior year, this is your your last chance for the NCAA tournament, really stepping up because of that. Do you think that's that's playing into your stepping your I, game up? I, I don't really think that that far ahead. I'm really just trying to get better every day. And as a team, I think we're doing a good job of that, of trying to just <coughs> every day work on something and just just get better, you know. And that, and that's and that's what we have to do if we want to actually reach our ultimate goal. Is just take it one day at a time, and whatever, whatever we want to, it'll, it'll all come together if, if we just don't look too far down the road and just take it one day at a time. Darrell, how much did that first loss and the way that happened sort of prepare you guys to come out and attack early? Yeah, it's definitely in the back of your head. I mean. It was it was the next game on schedule, and that's how we always look at everything. I mean, just taking it day by day, like uh, like John said. But uh, I mean, as a competitor, you always you always think about everything, like you know. And, and, and it hurt. They outplayed us the last last five minutes of that game. So we definitely want to come out with a chip on our shoulder, like Coach said, and just and just play it the way we know we can play. Coach Chambers, um, I noticed that once you started to build that lead, you kept the pressure on the foot on the post. Like, we spoke about before, and I, remember, uh, I didn't know what uh, what type of uh, situation we had going in with this with this game with these guys, but it seemed like you just really wanted to send a, a, a strong message on this game. I, I don't, you know, it's not about messages or anything like that. It's about I, I think we can be really good. I still believe that, and um, and I still think we have a lot more to go. We have a lot of more a lot more players to give something on the floor. And we're headed in the right direction. I just said to these guys, we're headed in the right direction. We haven't put 40 minutes together yet, but we're, we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. And um, you know, you get, sometimes you, you fall into that, human, human nature sets in. Start looking at the scoreboard, you're up 30, and you start doing things that are not characteristic of BU basketball and what we're all about. And I was just making sure, we have a young team and only one team. So we're, you know, we're just trying to make sure that we didn't fall into that trap. Because I've seen this team down 30, I've seen this team down 25, I've seen this team down 20, and then come back, cut it, or, or win the game. I mean, that's what they did versus me. John, how much does it mean to finish out at least the conference home games with a perfect record after losing at least one over the past three years? Uh, it's nice. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I didn't even tell them about that stat. <laughs> Do you know uh, the stat? Was it 1998? Yeah. It's the first time since 1998 we went undefeated at home. I think that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't really take too much into that. It's, it's I guess it's comfortable at home. But I'm happy. I'm happy. And, you know, it says something about our team, I guess, that we're doing something good, something right. So. Well, it's the benefit to have that sixth player. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. The fan support is something, especially uh, at this school that we sometimes struggle with. But uh, it's it's just nice to to have fans there. So. John, what would you say about you know the season Daryl's had? It seems like he's really put it together. His first year after sitting out a year as a transfer, 
and just how big is he to the to, to the team? But you know, how have you seen him progress during the year? Oh, he's he's great. I mean, uh, I imagine it must be rough sitting out a year. So to to come in and and you you seen it like during the year he's just gotten better and better and better. And now you see him, he's he's playing he's playing at a, at a high level right now. So we're gonna need him and everybody down the stretch. So it's 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 great to see. Daryl, have you know how does it how has the season gone for you, and how does it feel to really be contributing a part of the team every single day and playing major minutes for you know a contender down the stretch after you know your your first two years playing time being really sporadic at LaSalle and then having <coughs> to sit out a year as a transfer? Well, I mean, I don't really want to understand what you're, you're asking. So I was just for your insight on the year. You know, you're playing major minutes, playing really well for a team. You know, competing for a league title, it must be completely different from your previous experiences playing college basketball. As uh, you know, you had sporadic playing time at LaSalle, then you had to sit out a year and not play at all as a transfer. Just okay. what's the year been like for you? Oh, it's, 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 it's great. You know, that's, the, that's why you transferred. You know, like LaSalle was, it was playing time was up and down, of course, like you know. And like being an A10, it's a tough conference. You know, like you, you are competing to, to uh, you know, really much to go to the tournament every year, you know. so things like that but this program you know just trying to get better day by day that's that's the thing we focus on it and that's just how the season is you know from the, from the first day I stepped in here it was just continuing to tap the stone to get better uh, day by day so it's just it's great you know that's that's the grind of college basketball yeah you know players look forward to that coaches everybody does